This is a GK Mini Mini PC, which I picked up recently, described as having problems booting. I thought it would be a good opportunity to take a look at the problem, see if I can fix it, and give a few pointers to look out for if you're having a similar problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is just verify that there is a problem, try and boot it up, and see what, if anything, happens when we turn it on. Okay, so we have power, the power lights come on. So I'll get this plugged into a monitor and I'll see if we're getting any output. And we do have some output on the screen, so that's a good start. But it does go straight into the BIOS, which suggests that there isn't an operating system installed. I'll just quickly grab a USB drive to boot from and I'll see if the GK Mini will boot from that instead. Hopefully once this is booted we'll be able to take a look a bit more at the hardware specifications and see if there's any data on the internal SSD. It's possible that the OS just needs to be reinstalled, perhaps there's some corrupted data on the drive which is why the OS isn't being recognised. Now I've sped up and cut out a lot of this footage of the GK Mini booting just because it's not particularly interesting but it did take a lot longer than is shown here so don't get too many ideas about the performance based on the booting speed. Right, so as you can see we've got a little notification at the top of the screen which suggests that the drive is actually failing. That's not something I've ever seen before but that's a nice little feature to alert you to issues with your drive. So I'm just going to open up the disk utility and just take a look at the smart data to learn a bit more about the internal drive. So looking at this smart data, we can see first of all that it's not a very old drive. It's got very low power cycle count and powered on hours. But if we look here at the value for reallocated sectors, we can see there's definitely a big problem with this drive and it's going to need replacing. Ideally you want this number to be zero, though over the course of the SSD's life it is normal for it to perhaps increase by a very small number in the single digits, at which point it's generally a good idea to consider replacing the drive, particularly if it's got important data on it. So to see a number this high is definitely unusual. The fact that the drive's so young suggests that this is actually a manufacturing defect, as you certainly wouldn't expect an SSD to fail like this so early on in its life. Now I know that the drive's the issue, I'll order a replacement and once that's here, I'll get the GK Mini open and we can take a look inside. The new drive's now here, so I'm just going to open up the GK Mini by removing these four screws on the bottom. That looks like the only screws that we'll need removing, so it should be quite easy to open up. It does come up easily once the screws are removed. Now you do have to be a bit careful because there is a cable here. It looks like you can fit a two and a half inch drive, which sits in a slot on the bottom of the case. This bay is not currently populated on this particular machine. The M.2 slot along with the RAM slot are now both readily accessible, so you only need to remove the base to gain access to these slots. I do think that's a good design, especially given how easy it is to open, as these are the components you're likely to want to replace yourself in the future. A single screw holds the drive in place, and with that removed, we can now take a closer look at it. I can't see any obvious brand markings, which doesn't really surprise me, as it's obviously just a cheap drive. There's no obvious signs of failure, but it's likely that either the controller's faulty, or one of the memory modules. 
Either way, this drive is no longer usable. This is the replacement drive that I've purchased, a Samsung PM871B. I did buy this used, so it will be interesting to see how much use it's had after it's installed. But it was much cheaper to buy a used one than to get one brand new. I should point out here that this is a SATA drive, not NVMe, because the M.2 port on the GK Mini is configured for SATA only. It's important to check this before you purchase replacement drives to ensure the new drive will be compatible with your system. I'm going to trust that the new drive works correctly so I am going to put the screws back in at this point and just hope I don't need to take it apart again. The new drive also looks to be quite young, it's only been powered on for just over a month, but most importantly we can see this has zero reallocated sectors, and just a generally much better looking set of smart data. I also decided to run a self test on the drive, which completed successfully. And a quick benchmark just to get a feel for the performance of the drive. With that done, I decided to try installing an OS and booting the system from the new drive, which also worked perfectly. So it turns out the issue with this mini PC was just a failed SSD, which was quick and easy to replace. I'll make another video on this mini PC in the future to take a look at the performance and a more detailed overview of its features. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching and be sure to stick around for the next one.